Okay, so whenever we think of adjusting the doses of antimicrobials or other drugs in a patient who is undergoing dialysis, whether for acute kidney injury or chronic kidney disease, we think of reducing the doses of these drugs because the renal clearance is lost or decreased and the patient is dialysis dependent. So we need to adjust the doses. But one very important point we need to remember while calculating or adjusting the doses of these drugs is whether the drug is dialysable or non-dialysable. Because if it is non-dialysable, obviously we need to reduce the doses as per the creatine clearance or the dialysis uh, uh, guidelines which are given. But for the drugs which are dialysable, which are removed during the dialysis, then you need to supplement these uh, drugs post-dialysis because their effective concentration decreases and they may not be that much effective. So now your homework is go and read or search what are the dialysable and non-dialysable drugs commonly used in ICU. Make a list and which are the dialysable drugs. Make a list and see what we are routinely giving in the ICU and where we need to uh, supplement post-dialysis. I hope this is helpful and you need to read more about it. Thank you.